interlopers. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be going over specul my speculation video about what I think is going to be the next update. Now, I'm going to go over a, lot, a couple of lore things, a couple of things that have been leaked. So, spoiler warning, uh, get, this could be like a little spoiler warning flash. Um, now, in last week's up to last week's community mission, uh, uh, Astra, or the the um, Trevor that went missing, uh, talked about how the abyss wants to corrupt everything, every living being, and everything in, in the universe. Now, that kind of makes me and like John Murray tweeting with the skull. This kind of turns back to that whole 4chan leak. Where the guy talks about how it's going to be a combat update. Where we're going to get improvements to both land and air combat. And we're going to get a new entity or species or race. You know, race is a better word. Race. Um, in No One's Sky. Now, we actually... Because of that, what last what happened last weekend. The whole corruption thing. That could be the, could be talking about the corrupted sentinels. And what the fortune thing could be talking about is the corrupted sentinels. Because... What else would be corrupting the Sentinels other than an evil godlike entity like the Abyss? Um, and we even see the corrupted Sentinels um, in two ways. Uh, we see them in the when you salvage Russia's machinery on planets, they pop out. And there's also a, a corrupted Sentinel, I believe, uh, on that came in the Louis Ships update. In the one in Space Encounter, there is a prison that you can find, a Sentinel prison, and there is a meteor larvae, uh, snake-like dragon thing, and a Sentinel walker. Now, why is there a Sentinel walker in the prison cell? It can't be a guard because it's a walker. Those are land-based Sentinels. They can't really maneuver in space as well as it could on land. And it, it's not orange like the other Sentinels. It's gray and black. Which makes me think it's a corrupted walker, which that's another hint to corruption and in the abyss, kind of, because it's the abyss has to be corrupting the sentinels, and we, they could be also be corrupted travelers now that could be coming in, because it says it was to cor corrupt everything, and it could be corrupting other things like anything like all the N or NBCs and stuff like that. It, it could really be just a corrupted versions of other things from the abyss. I mean, that's why I think. If, like, the whole improved combat thing, um, they could improve spaceship combat. They could improve land-based combat with new weapons and new, like, reworking how the multitude works and how about the combat flow works, both in land and air. And, like, there was a recent leak. There are, there also talks about Proc Gen, which Sean today just uh, tweeted a scrambled video, and a lot of people have been pausing it, and it looks a lot like landscapes, which, again, like he, the Fortune post mentions Procgen being reworked and new flora and fauna, and even that, and then by that, the data bit, that whole thing, those p images of like new creatures that were leaked the data mines went during the I think Crossplay update that quickly disappeared, which is interesting. And there's other things that, like Hello Games that worked on, but never released. There, like way, way before Beyond came out, they they got data mined, and like with all the stuff that got leaked with the base building, with like the with the windmills. You no, know, there was windmills that never came through. But that's that's not combat. That's not important. But that with that, like the solar. With the solar panels and all the generators and like all the mining stuff that was leaked, there was also base defense stuff that was leaked that was never used. And they can bring it back in the next update if it's a combat update, because you would have that would be a good thing to fight against a new entity. But yeah, I I, I heavily think it's a combat update because there's just there's already stuff in place that could be improved and worked upon. Like with the corrupted sentinels, and it even mentions corruption in the weekend missions. 
And there's something else that I won't go over because it's too spoily into the weekend missions, but it does mention something about war. And that's all we're going to go into. Just war. But yeah. Uh, I think that's all we're going to rant about until Opers. That, that's my thoughts on it. I, I really believe it's a combat update with a little bit of proc gen sprinkled in. Because I don't think this they're going to do too much proc gen on this because eh, eh. do they really need proc gen? I mean, like, yeah, make the planets better and all that, add a bunch of more creatures but it'd be better to dedicate another update after this to just proc gen because it would add a lot more if they would have more time or who knows, maybe it's both maybe it's both and like they evenly be both just as fantastic but no, I do, it just, recently, it's just been more heavily towards combat. Anyway, see you later, interlopers. See you in the next video.